Here's Brody Brazil. This is a global story of the San Jose Sharks. Over in Sweden, they are really interested in how this is going to play out. What is going to be the season status of currently 18-year-old, but by the time opening night comes around, 19-year-old William Eklund. Now, just a quick backstory. When he got drafted seventh overall this past summer, there's no doubt the Sharks were surprised that he was still available to be taken. I think he was well off, not off their radar, but well off their expectations. They didn't think they were going to have a chance of drafting Eklund. Turns out he was there, took him in a heartbeat, and they were very happy with that. I know a lot of people after the draft was over talked about how big the Sharks won in, I mean, you know, is it luck that you were there in that spot? Yeah, the seventh pick, it's not like a top three pick, not even a top five pick, but um, but they they thought the Sharks in a lot of ways won this pick and the draft entirely, all the players they took, but especially getting Eklund seventh overall. Now, there's been a lot of talk lately. Can he make the team? And as training camp has started and as preseason games have happened and as people get to see more of him and understand what he's all about. Have you watched his interviews, by the way? There are some of them here on my YouTube channel. Phenomenal composure, maturity for an 18-year-old. Are you serious? He's he's better put together than a lot of 30-year-olds are. And he looks young, but put it on, or uh, not put it on mute. Don't look at the screen and just listen to what he says and the way he talks and the way he answers questions. I mean, yes, yeah, some of it looks like a teenager, but my goodness, he is well ahead of the curve. That's all off the ice. The fact that he is of the Vlasic slash Marlowe talent at that age, you know what I'm talking about. He might be able to break into the NHL this opening night in 12 days. This rarely happens in the NHL. You always draft a player to then go to the AHL or some other you know team across North America or even in Europe. So that they can continue developing, but now they are one of your prospects. That's this is so rare that he might be drafted a couple months ago. Was it June? Was the draft? I can't even remember. June or July? Sorry, I was in baseball mode. And here we are, basically three months later, and he's on an opening night roster. I I think, from what I understand, what I've what I've heard, observed. Have you seen the highlights? By the way, this kid's amazing with the puck. So it's possible. It is great overall. Let's. Take a step back here. How great is it that even if he doesn't make it, that the Sharks pipeline is like this again? That there's somebody like this coming around sooner than later? The fact that he is in the mix is awesome. It's honestly, it, it's, it's been a while since there has, and part of it is the Sharks' success. Success gets you low draft picks. Low draft picks doesn't get you a William Eklund earlier on. But herein lies, I'm, I'm telling you, a theme of the season. We're going to be watching him no matter where he ends up to start, no matter where he goes next, and if there's a next stop after that. We're going to be watching him way closer than we have a lot of other Sharks prospects over the years because like they talked about going back to Sweden, playing on the larger ice surface that he was used to. And it is a, it's a difficult league. It's a tough league, but... He's already been playing there. Do you just want him to get more of that? The other idea would be play in the AHL. Before you do the NHL thing, at least get used to the you know the North American rink, which, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, much smaller. Um, first time I ever saw the international rink, uh, and the Sharks played on it in a preseason game against a German team. This is like... 2010. Anyway, long story short, the game is so different because a lot of times the year, the German team would literally always take the outside against the Shark players because the Sharks players were ready to edge them out on the wall. And they realized, whoop, the wall's another 10, <laughs> 10 feet to my left or my right. I was planning to throw a hip check right here, but I can't because he'll just get right around me. So anyway, point being that the game, it just plays a lot different, especially for a winger when the rink is a lot more narrow in the NHL. So, but but is that part of it? Is he just that close and not ready? Do you not want to put a ton of pressure on him? Do you want to start him with the Barracuda? How, how does this go? You know, 
the same lies true for any other young player. If you bring them up too fast, what do you risk? Is there a risk in that? Do you have a game plan? Are we going to say, hey, 10 games, 20 games, whatever. Let's see how it goes. We'll make a decision there. And that's fine too. All I'm saying is that we will watch his every move and his every placement this year. And, and we, might, we might overthink it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we'll be considering like, is this the best path? Is this, what does this lead to next? And optimally, maybe he just starts up with the Sharks. Maybe he latches. Maybe, you know, he's on a, a line that works and that's it. And that's the end of the story. But the point is here, the last thing is the Sharks just have to get this right. You know, like a, a seventh overall pick that could have been a top three pick that they got their hands on and they, they're they trying to build for, you know, now moving forward. He's obviously a huge part of that. You just, you got to get this right. What is that? What does right mean? I don't know. That's for smart people like Doug Wilson to figure out. Uh, but, and honestly, you know, Bob Bugner talked about it too. You know, what roles, who's going to make the team? Like the players will decide this. Right, how they look, how they perform under a little bit of pressure. Um, but I think the Sharks have to help the situation out, help William Eklund get it right.